Hello, I will introduce the PC interface Magifier B system to you. Here is the Magifier B system. It's manufactured by RF Remote Tech. Each system are including all these parts. Now let me show you the main part of the Magifier B system. This is the special transmitter. It has the Magifier B system work at running program by the star, pass, continue, step, and the stop button. Here is the lock unlock button. It prevents from mix operation. After, after you press the lock unlock button and has the green LED on and the other five buttons are available. This is the transmitter A. It has the Magifier B system work at instant firing. Now let me show you the PC32Q receiver. Here is the antenna. It's removable. 32 pieces red LED indicate, indicating the firing and the demand stadium. Here is the 32 pieces green LED for indicating the test mode. Here is the LCD interface and the three position rock switch, test program and fire. Here is the indicator LED for indicating the charger and the inner power. The charge jack is here. Here is the external power jack and the indicate. Here is the rock switch. On the other side, here is the USB connector. And here is the two A5 jacks for external function. At the bottom of the case, here is the battery compartment for 10 AA battery. Here is the cover. Now let me show you how to have the transmitter and the receiver to work together. After power, both transmitter and the receiver has the program has the rock switch at program position. Then you can have the receiver to learn the transmitter in two methods. Pr press the shift button for more than three seconds until the dialog appears. Press the transmitter. Learning succeeds. Method two. And press enter button for more than three seconds to enter following step. And select number four. Press the transmitter. Learning succeeds. So now the transmitter and receiver are paired and they can work together now. Hello, this part I'll show you how to do the local LCD program. Before program, has the rocker switch at program position first. Turn on the power, the LCD will show this page for 3 seconds and enter into the main page. Press the enter button to go into the following step like this. You can use the up and down button to move the cursor. Program, Demo, Program List, Learning Code of the Transmitter, and Clean Code of the Transmitter. Let's go, in, go into the program. Press Enter to select. You can program the queues one by one or back in fixed interval and you can disable all queues here. All queues are disabled. Now let me show you the program one by one. Press enter button to select the queue and use the shift button to move the cursor to the right. And you can use the up and down button to change the value. Another queue. Okay. And press the after you finish this program, press return to save and go back to the former step. 
Now let me show you the program in fixed interval. You can assign the starting time. It's the same to use the shift button and up and down button. And the interval time. Okay. Uh, you can select all three killed or select partial free killed. Let's select all three killed. Kills has been programmed. And press the return to save and go back to the formal step. You can demo you can demo through the LED blink to display the program. You can demo according to the command from the transmitter and the demo directly. Also, you can have the detailed information of this program in the program list. Okay, after you convert this program, press the return button for more than three seconds to go back to the main page. And now the receiver is ready for firing now. Hello, I will show the RF remote firing system software here. The software is available under Windows XP and Windows 7. After connecting a power PC32Q, double-click the setup software for installation. The software will detecting the USB driver and the PC32Q receiver directly. Okay, installation succeeds. Now let's start the program. The frame is including three areas. Area 1 is the program area for generating firing points and creating firing receiver area. Area 2 is the firing point list area. And the last part is the receiver list area. In the program area, here is the timeline. You can set the timeline left through inputting number here. Or, or you can input the melody here to set the timeline directly. Okay, here is the music. And you can enlarge the timeline to generate the firing point if the point are too cloud in some area. You can set the first point by inputting number here or through the mouse click on the timeline. It's the same for the last point. Okay, before generating the firing point, we need to create it the receiver first. Let's create it receiver A, B, confirm, and a C, B. Okay. Each receiver uh, comes with 32 Q. And the receiver icon will be appear in the receiver list here. For generating, click locating for start the setting. You can you can input in the number here for locating the firing point or through the mouse click on the timeline. Once you click the generate, the firing point will be generated in immediately directly. And you can see the firing point in the timeline too. 
and the detailed information will be appeared in the filing point list here. We can do the individual filing point one by one here. Also, we can set the program with the melody. Click play, the melody will play, and the blue cursor moves. Click generate, the firing point will be generated with the moving cursor like this. You can slow down or fast forward the music too. Okay, for back firing point setting in, f in a fixed interval, you can select all free kill or select partial free kill. And you can assign the firing interval by inputting number here. Confirm. And setting the first firing point through inputting number or through the mouse key on the timeline too. Okay. And the detailed information of the firing point will be here. Once you cl click generate, the firing point will be generated. And you can have the you can see the firing point in the timeline and the detailed information in the firing point list. In this area, you can modify and uh, delete the firing point if you want. Here is the receiver list. You can have you can see the receiver icon here. Also you can download program to the receiver, upload program from a receiver. And you can have the detailed information of the receiver in the program list. Also, here is a demo demo dialog area. You can acti activate the di the demo here. Right click the receiver icon, you can have the you can have the detailed information, information through click the option here. In the demo area, you can demo the receiver program according to the three methods. Once click convert the demo interface you will appear. Click play. Demo start. You can slow down or fast forward the demo here too. Okay, after you convert this program, select a receiver icon and click the download program to the receiver. It will remind you to connect the receiver. Download the seed. The receiver program will, will be exported to the receiver. At the same time, you can upload program from receiver. Click the, click the upload program from the receiver. The program of the kinetic receiver will import to the receiver list here. And its firing point will be generated Select the program list. You can have the detailed information of this receiver too. Okay. The RF remote test software is powerful and it's easy for operation. Enjoy your soul. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>